engage the governor myself personally with my PSCs as I'm beginning to resolve the challenges or the issues that we have put here. And I will not engage him, uh, Honorable Alice Nanga, on the basis that I'm a lady. I'm not going to switch talk to him. I'm going to address the issues. <laughs> so I will be addressing him as the Minister for Lands, Public Works, Housing, and Urban Development. The land that the any county government holds, they are holding in trust for the residents of that county. It has nothing to do with Governor Wabatangi or Alice Wahome or Anu Amurata. It is the land belonging to the people of Kiamu. And one elected individual, and I will be wanting to really plead with all of us who are elected to put the interests of the residents uh, ahead of our own interests. I have been in a situation where the Honorable Governor, His Excellency Governor Matangi, has given assurance to the Head of State that now we shall move when we were in the right. So I, if there is any misunderstanding, I'm going to be available as a public servant, as a state officer, to deal with whatever we need to do. If then it means me pleading for the people of Kiambu, you can be sure I will. But also that the government must still use its instruments, its instruments, to, and, and some of those instruments is legal instruments, including enforcement instruments, to actually facilitate the people to get the projects that they need to I can hear our brother is using a different word. <laughs> but, uh, uh, then, then there, because I know, for example, the markets. And you see, then in terms of identifying the ones that are ready, where we have promised people, why should we now keep on saying we are coming, we are coming? I think that is giving the government a bad name. We must call it a spade, quid it is a spade. And then place the blame where it must be placed. And if I, it, is, it requires me to reach there, I will obviously take the blame, do what the government must do, and then from there seek the people of Kiambu to assist the government to have their project done. Hinga will tell you any money given by partners has a strict timelines. Any money given by GOK also has budget timelines. Karungu has already said we have lost some budget. Yes. How long shall we lose budget money belonging to Kiambu because we have issues that we are not able to address? Mm -hmm. Or that because some of our elected leaders are not in cooperation or are not cooperating with the other leaders or with the national government? We don't have time and space to lose money for losing money especially if it is a donor-funded project of money, because it will definitely go. And once it goes, to recover it, you know, it will take maybe another two years to recover it at that time, maybe the project has also closed. Some of these projects also have, have timelines, or programs have timelines, maybe it's a five-year program.